German Evolution 3 Group A car work spec. It was built to compete in the Asia Pacific Championship and the Hong Kong Beijing Rally. The Evolution 3 Group A car, we built that completely from scratch. This car was originally a standard body shell, but every component in it is, is different to the standard car. From the wheel nut right through to the flywheel, nothing is standard. Nothing would transfer to a standard Evolution 3. It has a six-speed extract transmission with an active centre diff and an active front diff that's driven by a computer on the rear firewall. Uh, the rear differential is aluminium case. Uh, the rear uprights are magnesium. All the suspension is chrome molly with uh, spherical joints in them. There's not a piece of rubber in it. So everything is special. Everything is a component in this car is chosen to be a winning component. It's a four valve, uh, two litre engine that runs 9.4 to 1 compression, 30 pounds of boost back in those days. This particular engine in its period, the FIA restricted us to 300 horsepower, but it had massive torque. More torque than about supercar, in actual fact. Normally, these systems locking the diff is controlled by the throttle and the brake. So when you arrive in a corner, a lot of the top drivers would be left with braking, and they'll have a bit of throttle on as well. So the poor old computer saying, hang on a minute, you want me to lock, but I can see you want to go around the corner because you're starting to turn the steering wheel. So in the steering wheel, there's a little sensor that measures how many degrees and how quick you'll turn it. In conjunction with all this other information, the wheel speed, it can sort of make a decision on how much to unlock the centre diff so the car will go around the corner. The fuel tank in this car under this cover is 80 litres. It has a fuel pickup and a fuel, the fuel goes in here. We had special big funnels that sat into that and this was all designed so you wouldn't get spilled because you've got a hot exhaust beside you. These cars in those days ran Elf. So I think at the height of the time, fuel was about $7.20 a litre and they'd fly it into the event. Like 80 times $7, it's... Uh, 500 bucks to fill the tank up. It's currently I only used 100 octane in this, so it's turned down a little bit. Well, this is the office of the Mitsubishi Evolution 3 Group A rally car. On the instrumentation on the dash, it has a taco. There's no speedo. Uh, if you want to know what speed you're doing, you normally ask the co-driver who's sitting in the left-hand seat. And then in the centre console, we have our driving light switches. And then below that, the little computer, which was quite unique in its day because it logged certain items, uh, water pressure, uh, oil pressure, uh, fuel pressure, and boost pressure. Pretty good little thing because if the fuel pressure or water temp got out of spec but wasn't dangerous, it would go yellow. And when it said, turn the damn engine off, it went red, you know you had a problem. After every event, the car comes back to the workshop you give it a pretty good clean so that the, the mud and all the stuff doesn't sort of cake on the car. But when it comes back to the workshop, all the suspension comes out of it. Normally the engine comes out because it goes back. All of it comes out and it's cleaned down to uh, pretty well spotless condition. So you can monitor whether there's any cracks or damage that you've got to repair before you go to the next event. It's small. Uh, it had a very, very good wheelbase track relationship and it was just such a pleasant well-balanced car to drive. Flat out would probably peak at about 206 kilometers an hour in the forest. That's fairly quick when the trees are going past at a great rate of knots. To make a winning rally car you've got to have good engineering, a good manufacturer behind you and then you come down to the driver, the team and the communication between all those people. It was always serious. But as a lot of my friends in Mitsubishi said, you've got to have fun. And they always used to say early on, the happy team's a winning team. This particular Evolution 3 Group A car was adjustable to the point where you could set it up for each driver. I was very fortunate in early days to be in Japan with Tommy Mackin and testing his reaction times so they could write programs for the front diff and the centre diff. For Mackinnon, it was three days of testing to 
Learn all his reaction times on a set course. The proof of it was that he won the World Championship.